Hi, I'm Ariza Craig, your host for Business Is Up, our program that aims to inform you about exciting new economic development projects, business activities, and issues impacting the UP community. Today, we have a very exciting topic. In June of 2015, the city will be host to golf's grandest event, the U.S. Open. This will be one of the greatest milestones for Chambers Bay Golf Course, as well as the first time ever for Pacific Northwest. With over 235,000 spectators, about 5,000 volunteers, and 2,000 credentialed media expected, no doubt this is going to be the biggest event the city has ever prepared for. With an expected television viewing audience of about 100 million, how is the city preparing for this great event? Is the City of University Place going to be ready when the world comes to visit and watch in June of 2015? So today we have invited a few guests who will share their perspectives and their thoughts about the coming U.S. Open and the city's role in preparing for this great event. Welcome, Councilmember Kent Keel. Mayor Pro Tem Javier Figueroa, Thank and you. David Swindell, our Director of Development Services for the City of University Place. Thank you. Thank you, Marisa. Welcome, gentlemen. So, Councilmember Keel, we have been preparing for the U.S. Open, it seems like, for a long time. <laughs> you are the co-chair for the U.S. Open Task Force. Can you tell us a little bit about what the task force is about? Yes. Uh, thanks, Marisa, and it's good to be here. Uh, you know, when you throw out all those numbers about who all is coming to our town, Every council member, we all felt it was very important that uh, we were prepared uh, for what's going to happen to us uh, in June of 2015. And so we thought to stand up a, a U.S. Open Task Force. And basically that task force was to um, really work with all the people that are involved with the Open and try to get an understanding of what impacts were going to happen to our city, what, what were the things that we would have to do you know, how do we act and react as a, as a, as a whole city uh, for such a great event? And that, that really was the, the thinking behind the task And this force. was all the way, it started in 2012, so right. quite, quite, quite the ways yeah, back we, before we, everybody started even talking about it. Yeah, absolutely. We, we knew it was really big and it was a lot of things involved, so we wanted to get started early. And I think it was August of that year. Yes, that's right. For quite some time now. <laughs> yes. There are several parties uh, to creating this event. and. Uh, one of the official titles that the city of university has is that of the host city. So, Mayor Pro Tem uh, Figueroa, what exactly do we mean when we say host city, that we are the host city for the U.S. Open? The fun part. <laughs> okay. It's is like mi casa su casa. You know, we want to welcome our guests. <clears throat> we want to welcome the players. Uh, the organization, USGA, we, we want to have our university place citizens that live in, as part of our community to be feel safe and also be participants and have fun. So it's, it's a big responsibility to be a host city. Part of some of that is <clears throat> having some welcoming signs, mm -hmm. uh, having welcoming mats somewhere along the, uh, along the way, having the right traffic plans and transportation plans for orderly uh, uh, traffic not only for the buses and right. the guests but also for our, our sit residents so that they, they can get in and out that's being a good host that's right and uh, also to educate and to um, be informed uh, it, it's our responsibility as a city to ensure that not that all parties that, mm -hmm. that I mentioned are educated and informed about what's going on in UP inside and outside uh, uh, the event. Okay. Uh, I know, uh, Council Member Keel, you always talk about this, that really uh, there's three um, agencies involved or three parties involved. Can you talk about that a little bit and then in the context of how we fit in? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, we, we've gone and what we've learned uh, as a task force is that there really are three parties mm -hmm. that typically are involved with, uh, with an open over the Hundred or so years they've been they've been doing this, and that is obviously the the the, um, the USGA whose mm -hmm. event it is. That's right. uh, it is the the property owner uh, of the course, and then it's the this the 
the city, the whole city, uh, the legislative body that where the where the event is taking place. Okay. And so those are three main roles. That's and right. There are roles that each have to play uh, in pulling something like this off. Okay. And and I know that we invited David here because as the uh, director of development services, he really is. You are David, the lead person who's going to be. Uh, helping us with the regulatory role that the city plays. Can you can you talk about that a little bit and the scope of our what the city will be involved in? Yeah, I sure can. Because the event is happening inside the city of University Place, we do have the regular regulatory authority over uh, many aspects of the event. Not all of them, but many. Uh, our role is to ensure that the uh, we protect the public health, safety, and welfare mm -hmm. uh, for the visitors that are coming to our host city, mm -hmm. and uh, also for obviously our residents and our business community. Uh, we're going to issue a special events permit, uh, which is kind of an umbrella mm -hmm. permit that covers uh, public safety, transportation and parking, uh, building and fire code, ADA accessibility, uh, and of course also addresses how we're going to mitigate any impacts to the community, uh, such as what uh, the Mayor Pro Tem uh, addressed with uh, making sure that our citizens and our residents can get in and out of the community without uh, a lot of traffic impact. Yes. Uh, so that's, that's part of our role. Um, our role is two-part, if you would, yes. uh -huh. um, both inside the ropes, which is basically inside the venue, mm -hmm. that's what the USGA mm -hmm. refers to mm -hmm. it, as well as outside, which is uh, the community at large, as well as uh, especially that area, which is immediately close to the venue. Yeah, they always talk about us inside the ropes and outside the ropes, and I think that we are the outside the ropes responsible party, right? That's, that's, that's well, the, that's one of our uh -huh. responsibilities, obviously, when it comes to things like fire and, and yeah. building code. Okay. We want to make sure that the tents and yeah. the bleachers and those types of structures within the venue itself are, are yeah. done correctly so yeah. that that protects uh, public health yeah. and safety. Now, no doubt, this is, going, this is like the biggest event that's ever happened to our city. Uh, and there'll be some impact, but, but really, we, we also talk in terms of the economic development benefits. There's a lot of benefits that come. Uh, Council Member Keel, can you, can you maybe talk about some of the economic benefits that, that, that we anticipate because of the event? And I'll ask Mayor Pro Tem as well. So. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, the, I, for me, I think that the biggest economic uh, benefit is going to be after the event is over. Yes. Um, you know, we're, you, we talk about 100 million people viewing right. this, plus the 235,000 that are gonna come through. I mean, this is golf's biggest event. And um, to have it in University Place, um, you know, for them to just to, to yeah. say those words uh, is, is gonna be huge for us. And when people begin to see the course, they begin to see the vistas and the views and the different kinds of things that are in our city, I believe that that is the piece that's going to have a long-lasting benefit to mm -hmm. us where folks will say, you know, gee, that course looked really great. I think I might want to go play that or visit it or, or those kinds of things like that. And, and when the media comes and, and, and then we're planning mm -hmm. to talk about the different stories, our history, yep. all those kinds of things like that because, you know, they're going to be here for um, that whole week and they have to write stories and yep. they have to talk about golf and, you know, there'll be some things outside the ropes. And so... Our goal is to, to be prepared to, to tell the story of University Place. And so uh, by doing that, we're, we're thinking that, you know, that's going to give us some we're type gonna of We're going to be on center stage. Absolutely. But there's <laughs> also some uh, short-term benefits. Mayor Pro Tem, would you, could you talk about maybe the, some of the, that kind of impact? Absolutely. Before I do, Marisa, I'd like to just uh, briefly mention that <clears throat> all this, uh, is, and all this economic benefits, mm -hmm. not just for the city university place, but for the Ca Pierce County and the state. And, the state. and that is mm -hmm. that uh, the counties, uh, uh, Pat McCarthy, John Landenberg, who went uh, uh, and took a huge risk mm -hmm. to, to put together a world-class event mm -hmm. to, and bring it here. And so I'd like to thank them publicly. But uh, what that allows us to have as, as a small city of 32,000 is to be, um, is to have a world class, world class event, uh, the golf course, mm -hmm. and yes. the view, the view is a world class event. Uh, along with that, we have the, the trails, and we have a, 
a huge uh, park down there. Right. And as these 250,000 people come through and, and the viewers, they're going to uh, hope yeah. what I believe will happen is I would like to go there and play. Mm -hmm. Maybe golf, maybe hike, maybe look at a world-class view. But as people stream in, yep. they, they will uh, one way or another, hopefully fall in love with UP. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we're almost out of time, but I know that all three of you have gone through uh, one whole city or another, Marion and then Pinehurst. Can you give me just one quick highlight that you can share that's relevant? Councilmember Keel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, to me, I think people, you know, you, you can think about how big this is and put it in your mind, but when you walk through that gate, and see it yes. for the first time, it, you're gonna be blown away. I mean, my, mm -hmm. you can't fathom how spectacular yes. uh, it, it will be, okay. you know, with the, the, the just the, the, the pageantry and, and all the things that, that are associated with it. Very exciting. Nay pro tem? Uh, pride, put, pride in our community. Okay. All right, and uh, Mr. Smithdale? Well, I think to put uh, our uh, residents and businesses and alike uh, mm -hmm. to rest uh, at Pinehurst, we saw a wonderful traffic plan uh, be implemented with uh, uh, very little impact to the community, yeah. hardly any traffic jams at all. That's my big takeaway from Pinehurst. Yeah, lots of lessons learned, and but brings us a lot of confidence. But. Thank you, Councilmember Keel, thank Mayor you. Pro Tem Figueroa, and David, thank you for joining Welcome. us. Don't go away, because after our break, we will talk with the mayor and other council members about impacts that uh, our residents may expect during the U.S. Open. Thank you. What began more than a century ago on shores thousands of miles to the east is coming to the Pacific Northwest for the first time. The U.S. Open Championship stands as the greatest test of golf. The Open Golf King of the United States. Little Ben, Goliath of Golf. Filling the dreams of every young boy who's ever picked up a club. It's the greatest feeling in the game, coming to the 18th hole and knowing you've won. Setting the ultimate stage for golf's biggest heroes. A remarkable week by a remarkable player. Attracting fierce competitors from around the world. Oh, from Northern Ireland, he's a U.S. Open champion at Pebble Beach. And producing generations of homegrown champions. than 100 years, the game's greatest players have pursued golf's ultimate prize. The U.S. Open champion, oh my, what a clutch putt, yes. And now, you are inheriting this legacy. Secure your place. Join this celebration. Tiger Woods and his second U.S. Open championship. For the first time ever, the U.S. Open is coming to your doorstep. Is it the luck of the Northern Irish? Looks good. Do you believe it? Do you What can you say? In 2015, the eyes of the world will focus on the beauty and the brawn of Chambers Bay in University Place. The 115th U.S. Open. Be a part of history. Well, welcome back. We're now joined by three more of our council members, and let me introduce Mayor Denise McCluskey, Council Member Steve Worthington, and Caroline Belisi. Well, Hi. welcome to our show. Well, thank you for having us, Marisa. Yes. Well, uh, we had a very exciting first yeah. segment, but um, I know that the three of you also had gone out, had the opportunity to go and visit Pinehurst last, mm -hmm. uh, well, this year. Um, can you talk about maybe some of the lessons learned and um, 
tips that you would bring mm -hmm. back to our community. Mayor, let's start with you. Thank you for the opportunity to come and speak to our citizens in regards to our trip to Pinehurst. It was well worth every penny of us going back there. We not only were able to partner with the people that are going to make it happen here in our city, mm -hmm. the police, the fire, and, and county executives, and also uh, the EBC board, uh, what I noted is that how seamlessly everything occurred and happened mm -hmm. for such a large event that it gave me a lot more confidence in the USGA that they were able to handle this. And what we needed to learn is to get up to speed on how to better partner with them. Right. They, it was very smooth and efficient in the traffic control and, and the people mobility and also the huge amounts of infrastructure that they were able to put up and down and I think the main impact will be down in the Chambers uh -huh. Bay area, yeah. especially on the golf course. Yes, that our course. citizens to this date can go down there and see some of the substantial Happenings, changes that yes. they have made, yeah, right. uh, as well as some of the uh, exhibit tents that were just taken down recently. Okay, yeah. and uh, Councilmember Worthington, mm -hmm. any great perspectives? Well, uh, yeah. you know, from my perspective, there was uh, a, a number of things that I discovered there, and it was certainly worth the uh, worth the trip, worth the energy, mm -hmm. the effort, and the and the expense. Um, the uh, some of the big takeaways for me, the mayor had mentioned one of them. Yeah. The USGA knows how to do this. Right. They're very professional. They're very effective at what they do. It's also a little hard for me. It was until I went there to really understand the scale, just yeah. how big this is. And what is it like having thirty, maybe fifty thousand people in your community yes. one day? Just new people there. That that was very different. Perhaps the thing that I remember as a uh, significant takeaway. I, some of us participated in uh, the morning briefings at City Hall, or what they call uh, Village uh, Hall, I the think is what people. it is. Village the, Yeah, the village yeah. people, right, <laughs> uh, with their, uh, uh, their city administrator and key mm -hmm. staff. And they would debrief how things went at the right. Open the day before. And, of course, it's not about the game. It's about the problems. And what I heard was actually very few problems. Mm -hmm. There's always some things. Yes. There's always something about a traffic circle in their case or, or something else. But, frankly, they were relatively small scale, they addressed them quickly, and it just showed good organization and good interaction between the village of Pinehurst and the USGA operations. You know, I, I look forward for us being able to do that exact same thing, and I know we've been getting ready yes. to do exactly that. Great model, and mm -hmm. it does give you a lot of comfort. Mm -hmm. Councilmember Belisi, any great takeaways? I think what I was most impressed about is how on top of the transportation system the USGA is and how sensitive they were to their impacts to the community and the residents. And during the entire five days we were there driving in and out of Pinehurst, we did not encounter any backups. Mm -hmm. It was smooth getting into the, mm -hmm. into the site, smooth getting out, and that life still continued in the village of Pinehurst, that it did not impact uh, the residents to the degree that we think it might. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there yes. will be some delays, there will be some yeah. problems, but but it will be m extremely minimal to yeah. what our what we imagine it to be. Well, well, thank you for for mentioning that, uh, Councilmember Belisi, because you know, as you all know, we are getting all sorts of questions about tremendous impacts. That what kind of impacts will our residents be experiencing? How are you going to get two hundred and thirty five thousand people in and out of our community? Um, any ideas uh, uh, and just perspectives on how we're going to do that? Uh, Mayor, Councilmember Worthington, any? Well, one of the ways that Pinehurst did, which is complementary to what Chambers Bay is going to do, is the shuttle buses. That's right. To strategically have all the participants go to off-site parking lots mm -hmm. and be shuttled in by, I'm sure, very nice, luxurious buses. Right. So they'll have less impact mm -hmm. on, on the roads mm -hmm. in, in, into our town. And the confidence that partnering with the initial county services and plus a, our, our police and fire and the USGA, they're mapping out a, a, a good route and they mm -hmm. have, uh, I believe it'll, be, it'll come out in the spring. Yes. It'll be disclosed to us yeah. then and then we can uh, react to it. Yeah. Uh, I think I, th that plan that you're, the mayor was talking about, I think that that is the especially impacting the, the, the residents in the, that are closest to the course. Um, and you've, you've, you've talked about still in right. definition, still being worked out, but can you, can you talk about that a little bit and, and right now what the, the draft plan is? I know they're gonna be hearing a little bit more about it, but 
uh, talk, mm. talking about yeah, it zoning. It is a and, draft plan. Yes, it's it not is, vetted out so. yet, and it will be vetted out by our community yes, and yes. then brought back to the council for the for the final yes. approval before being implemented. Yeah. But, and, but but primarily, Mayor, I think that um, they're always concerned about the, the parking. Where am I going to be able to park? Um, am I going to be able to get in and my mail in and out? Um, yeah. Can you talk well, about Danny those? Sink, the director of the USJ, well, had made it known on numerous occasions that he's going to be very accommodating and sensitive to the needs yes. of our citizens so that they will be able to have a livable lifestyle, yeah. be able to get to work and have the mobility and get in and out of their communities yeah. as, as needed. Yes. Uh, Council Member Belisi, I, I'm sure you've heard a lot of your <laughs> constituents ask you questions about you know, hotels. I know we get asked that all the time. Where can people get additional information about this? Um, they can go to our website and um, there is an uh, information Q&A information there as well as a direct link to the USGA website for that information. My understanding is the USGA at this time is not accepting applications for new home rentals, mm -hmm. um, it, but that there are individuals and, and rental companies out there yes. uh, soliciting, but I would caution the residents that uh, to think that they may get big dollar amounts and have be able to rent their houses out may not be oh. quite um, logical and may not happen. I think only a few people will will be able to benefit from the big mm -hmm. price um, right. rentals. Mm -hmm. um, but I would, would tell people, come and stay and enjoy mm -hmm. the event. Mm -hmm. I don't think our town is going to be gridlocked. Um, the only experience we have for 60,000 people or 30,000 people are our stadiums at, right. in um, the Soto District of, of Seattle. And this is by no means that. Mm -hmm. um, these in, every one of these participants is going to be encouraged to go to the outlying um, parking spots and they will be bussed in. Mm -hmm. And we are in the process of getting regulations in place and informing citizens about yeah on-street parking and the lack thereof yes. surrounding the golf yeah. course as a means to discourage people from driving yeah. into our community yeah. thinking they can get walk-ons. Oh, yeah. um, we're not used to that kind of event here in this in this area, so ticket holders will be told yeah. where to park okay. and, it, and it's going to help yeah. tremendously. I know, th I know that as a body as well, uh, because we are the regulatory agency responsible for what what goes on in the roads, accessibility. I know that as a council, you are t uh, thinking about or considering some legislative changes and issues. Council Member Worthington, can you can you well, talk uh, about that a little bit? Yeah, certainly, a couple of those items that uh, we have uh, coming coming to us for uh, further development Review. and final mm -hmm. decision. Uh, there's uh, issues about the parking plan that uh, I think we've already touched on, and, mm -hmm. and it's probably the thing that is going to have the most direct impact to uh, folks uh, for that seven-day period while the U.S. Open is underway. Uh, in addition to that, though, we'll need to most likely change some of our parking rules. Mm -hmm. uh, today, uh, the parking fine that we have associated in our community has worked for the scale of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of parking need we have here. Mm -hmm. But this is a very special, very large mm -hmm. event, and it's important that we put some disincentives, frankly, uh, so that people don't uh, come into the neighborhoods to park for event parking. That's mm -hmm. just not really mm -hmm. uh, the type of activity that is going to work well, particularly since the USGA does such a great job right. about providing shuttle service, right. and they make it so easy to move right. through. Uh, it makes the most sense to use that service that's included in their pricing right. or ticket. So we'll have uh, some changes in parking regulations, okay. I believe. Uh, the USGA has also uh, asked us to consider uh, a uh, ordinance prohibiting drones and mm -hmm. kind of an interesting mm -hmm. piece of legislation. I, I think something the, different. It's a, something different, something that we probably wouldn't have yeah. uh, coming to yeah. us, I would guess, and, yeah, and right. except That'll for this. That'll be interesting to implement, too. <laughs> yes, it will. It will. Yeah. Uh, how but, shoot something down from the sky? Yeah, how to, Maybe not. Yeah, right. But we're, we're uh, I know staff is working on yeah. that, and uh, it will be uh, uh, in front of us and in yeah. due order. Uh, and we'd like to respond to that request as yeah. long as it makes sense in our community okay. and it appears that it will yeah um, and then uh, we have uh, uh, some other uh, uh, potential changes but primarily okay. we're looking at yes. parking yeah. uh, the drone issue uh, we uh, I'm, 
uh, I don't golf know. Yeah, yeah, golf yeah. Cart, maybe yeah. one option. Be, Limiting it to. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we, yeah, we alcohol um, down in the yeah. basin. Yeah. Well, so um, we're almost out of time, but I, I would like for, and I'll, I'll ask each one of you if you've got just, uh, just a, one last thought that you want to tell our residents. Uh, I'll start with uh, Councilmember Belisi. This, I think, is going to be an opportunity for the City of University Place to shine before the world. Um, I think our residents should know that that you don't need to lock yourself up yeah. in your houses. Our business owners and restaurateurs in town need to understand that despite not having any hotels, there will still be residents and volunteers and people renting homes that will need need your services. So do not consider to closing your doors, yeah. do not consider leaving town on vacation, but do plan on taking an extra 10, 15 minutes okay. possibly to and from your house. There might be some minor impacts, yeah. but. Good tip. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Council Member Worthington. Yes, uh, you know, I think uh, one of the important things in my mind is one, how special this opportunity is, yes. because it does really give us an mm -hmm. opportunity, as Council mm -hmm. Member Polici mm -hmm. said, for us to shine. Mm -hmm. And it will be at some set of inconveniences mm -hmm. to us, and it may slightly impact our businesses. Maybe some, uh, some may see more business. I, I don't think the vast majority will. I think a few may. Uh, I also think some business may actually see a little bit of a drop off. But at the end of the day, it is seven days, uh, and it is not uh, a long period of time. Uh, it is a very special period of time, and one we should uh, look forward to. And I think we are. I'm, yes. We're excited for it. We're getting ready. Yes. We've worked hard to yes. be ready for this, yes. and uh, there's more to be done, but it's well underway. Absolutely. And Mayor? Well, I would just like our citizens to embrace the moment, enjoy their presence on the world stage, and to have fun with it. Uh, I know the city or the village of Pinehurst, they, the, when they first go around, they were very uptight and there was a lot of tension until they got acquainted with how the things were going to flow and then the next year was better. And then the third year, they really had a wonderful celebration and they thoroughly embraced it. That is the lesson learned that we can do right yes. now for our citizens yes. is to just have fun yeah. and uh, just we earned oh. the spot on the world stage. So Absolutely. Let's be proud yes. of it as, as citizens of University Place. All very inspiring and such great perspectives. Our time is up and I'd like to thank all of our guests and all of you for joining us today. I hope the information we've shared has been valuable to you as residents. We're excited to be the host city for 2015 US Open. Please join us and look forward to our next program where we'll talk about the event from a regional perspective. I'm Ariza Craig, and thanks for joining us for Business Is Up.